Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. And there's this old hard bastard if he's still alive. I mean, because they came to them, they wanted, you know, a husband and wife made a lot of money. The, the, that, was, that was inspirational, that one. Yeah. The, the, gym, the gym. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 And so uh, they said, well, the guy that taught us to be still alive, you know, uh, the castle man, that's what I used to be called in the 90s. And I, I am obviously still alive. And then, then the, you know, we've created a lot of other people not knowing about them uh, that have created billions. Uh, but normally it takes a few years to create billions. It, it's one, we've had a couple that just were in the right place at the right time, all everything was juxtaposed, and boom. Okay? Um, but that's not the norm. Normally you've got to work hard at it. And uh, unless you marry it or shit like that. Uh, the, um, but it, it's certainly not because the fucking stuff's not available. I mean, believe me. Believe me. And again, I still wonder, I was talking to Brian last night, it, it still amazes me every uh, year that somebody doesn't come up and teach this. Because there's at least 100 guys on the planet that have done this like I have, but aren't teaching it. At least 100. I can think of 40 or 50 off the top of my head that have done this, but they're still doing it. And they would consider you competition. So why in the fuck am I going to tell him, you know? And, uh, what about Israeli, Israeli dude on uh, the internet? On, on oh, uh, Povar. Yeah. Uh, he's, 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 he's a quasi crook. Is he? I threw him out of the program. Yeah, but he stays right. There's no rule of law in Israel. When he takes your deal, what are you going to do? Unless you go, to, uh, there's a rule of law for me because I know people in Israel, but the, what are you going to do? I mean. But he, he links a lot to your. To your oh, I know. He, but I can't keep him from Lincoln. Okay. You know? Uh, he did go to the program. And he was part of the defense uh, forces and fought in the, in the Middle East, blah, 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 blah. But uh, he's, he's got a, a created a, a shortcuts. Uh, like, you don't need a board, you don't need anything, just bring me the deal. Mm. I'm one through five and six and seven. I'm your exit. That's what he promises, but uh, to, uh, as I understand it. But you've got to pay me, uh, I don't know how many thousands before I, I look at the deal. And that's not unusual. I mean, uh, to review the deal, you know, I know guys that have almost 100% success rate, I, I, 100 grand to review the deal. And they're not interested in setting up for that 100 grand. I paid myself 500,000 once, twice, and a million once to have deals reviewed. Right at the end of the year, from about the 5th or 6th of December. And, and if they review and they don't like it, you lost your money. All three deals got done, though. Uh, and, and they took that million and those two five hundred thousand. One, one was Lehman Brothers, one was uh, uh, J.P. Morgan, and one was uh, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs, the million, J.P. Morgan, and Lehman Brothers back in those days was the five hundred each. Uh, and it's on a handshake. That's a lot of fucking money to give people, but that, I wouldn't do that today. I, I, I need a lot of paperwork to make sure that uh, that they were going to perform. But back in those days, I mean, a lot of deals got done. Just, yeah, yeah, okay, I owe you. Do it. Mm -hmm. That was it. But for the most part, those deals are, are dead. Okay, yes, yeah, man. Yeah. So, this is a business case from 2015. That's the company. So, they do uh, ambulance billing for fire departments. Mostly. That's a good business, too. I've got a Russian rolling these up mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. So they're based in a 30-year-old company. That's where they operate. So it's a rented uh, building, minimal uh, capex. 37 employees. They're uh, industry leaders. High client retention. Claim resolution in 97, that's very high. Mm. So what, what's high? That, that yeah, means what that, that mean? from what you build to actually getting paid 97% of the time, you make it happen. Mm. Right? Yeah. 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 Collection. You're actually get, getting the money, not right. as a receivable. Because yeah, they deny a lot of the charges initially. Right. Yeah, so they transport the patient and depending on the services, they then bill uh, Medicare or Medicaid or but, but the that, insurance company. But that means they've got good systems to claim that much, huh? Uh, like, yeah, so, so yeah. Some companies yeah. wouldn't, yeah, that yeah. would be fucked. Yeah. So that's their market, the west of the United States. Uh, mostly fire departments, 150 clients. Each claim is four hundred and fifty dollars, and they charge uh, twenty uh, per claim. Uh, Fire departments, police stations, 
school, that kind of thing are good because they pay. So this was introduced by a business broker, um, so the buyer had no permission to uh, contact employers or, or customers, and uh, they're not that motivated, I think. They, they say they want 4.3 uh, minimum, million. What's the EBITDA? Uh, yeah, I'll show you right, right after this. And uh, the seller is open about seller, uh, open seller financing, but they said nothing about it, so uh, the buyer She's just kind of uh, guessing. Uh, so that's that's the last three years financials. So that's uh, eight times EBITDA. That doesn't work for for what we want here. And last year was and last year was sixty percent. They keep forty percent, and I can tell you right now the numbers work at sixty percent. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to go how, do you, how do you decide on that? That ratio is, is right. Well, I, because I, the... Uh, what, what, what are you doing? Uh, other than I've looked at a million. Yeah, no, I know. Okay, so the even I, this is called, uh, it's a half a million. Half a million, yeah. Okay, so we can pay, uh, remember, let's just say we're going to pay up. We're going to pay five times. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pay two and a half million. Mm. Yeah. They wanted 2.3, right? Okay, they wanted 2.3 for 100%. So do you think that they would take 2.5 for, for 60%? Maybe. Well, why, why wouldn't they? It, 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 it increases the value. Yeah. And all, we're, all we want to do is the, the dollars to work, mm. okay? Then we have an opportunity to refinance it. We have an opportunity to bolt it on to something else. Uh, and we have a, obviously, we have the obvious opportunity to make it grow. Now, if you don't grow these fuckers, you know, I, I, I mean, you're buying a job. Mm. Yeah. A lucrative job that you got some equity. But if you don't plan on growing them, then, you, you know, I mean, it's the wrong model. It's the wrong model, but I mean, yeah, I can do it because I, I just know that five hundred thousand yes. times five is two and a half million, and I remember the two point three million from before, so I know it works. Can Can you grow most nursing homes at bed pens? If the yeah, bed, well, if the bed's well, 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 as the people die, you increase the the, 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 okay. price, the what do you call it? The, 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 the cost. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and in some cases, most of the bed pen places are not going to be ninety five or ninety eight percent mm. occupied. They're going to be 60 or 70%. Mm -hmm. So that's an obvious increase. Uh, and then there's efficiencies. You don't want to take the services away from the poor people that are dying. But normally, uh, bed pens are overstaffed 20%, mm. 25%. Uh, and uh, you're going to check to see, can the building be expanded? Okay. Uh, one we bought a number of years ago had a big gymnasium and shit. These old fuck can't fucking bounce a basketball or anything. No. I mean, all I saw, I saw 80 beds, mm. uh, you know, and they ultimately put in 35 beds, but they, uh, also how much extra property do you have, okay? Now, when uh, uh, a lot of these uh, are bought with the idea that we're going to double the, the footprint in five years, but they never doubled. Mm -hmm. They never, get, you know, life catches up to them. And so, uh, so I can see all that, and your industry experts and all the other guys that have been through the business, uh, will understand legislation may change, mm. okay? And again, your industry experts will already know that. Now, most of the kids that are buying uh, uh, bedpans uh, and associated other things in different verticals don't know shit, except for the nurses and the doctors. And actually, the, the nurses know more than docs. Mm. They're closer to yeah. the ground. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's why so many of these uh, nursing homes are owned by nurses. Well, this, this nurse here this morning that gave a talk, I was going to ask her, what, why did she go to Houston from Dallas to, to look at that deal? Uh, are there no deals in Dallas? Well, I mean, no, there are deals in Dallas. But, uh, but, 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 but her friend moved to Houston. Yeah, well. yeah but I, uh, I say practice, not in your, in your back home. Okay, so this was the first deal that she looked at. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it, it, was, a, it was a no runner. Uh, but she, she learned, uh, plus she's not as aggressive as uh, Jessica, yeah. uh, although they've been best friends 25 years, mm. went to school together, etc., etc. Um, yeah. So I want to interrupt. Yeah. So just quickly, 60% for two and a half million. Yeah. So, well, okay. No, so you, so you, I, I you, want to make sure I've got that. No, no, you reverse engineer it. Yeah. What can we pay? 
What can EBITDA is 500. Yeah. I feel comfortable With paying five, five times. Five times. Yeah. So what are we going to get for five times EBITDA? Yeah, two and okay, a half. Okay, okay, okay. That's two, two and a half million. Yeah. He said in a couple slides ago that this guy's number was 2.3 million. Mm -hmm. That was for the 100%. Four, yeah, right? 4.3. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. Oh, no, no, 4.3. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4.3. Yeah. So I know 60% of, uh, roughly speaking, 60% yeah. of 4 is what? 24. 2.4. 2. 4. 2. 4. 2. 4. Yeah. What did I just say? 2.5. 2.5. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're, you, okay. So he's buying 60%. But I'm only, we're only buying 60%. He's not buying the whole business. We're not buying the yeah. whole business. Okay. okay. So we're going to pay. So you're basically I'm, I'm, giving him his price. Exactly. Yeah, so he, more, you know, so that, that's my point is. Sorry, more than his price. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, slot, not that much more actually, because if you move to it's still more. It's, anyway. still sli it's still slightly more. And Fine. almost all these guys will sell for what they say, because that price is their Greatest expectation price. Mm -hmm. Even though he says he won't take any less, I mean, nobody, well, I won't say nobody, but hardly anybody gets what they're asking. Mm -hmm. And so, to, to make it fast, well, fine, we'll give you essentially what you're asking at a pro rata le level of 60%. Okay. So, we're buying pro rata at his dollar value. And yeah. so, he can't complain about the value now. Yeah. So then, uh, And he's got 40% on the upside. He can stay with you. You know, he can have a claw back. Uh, sometimes we used to say it's your choice. You either will either buy the other forty percent over five, six, seven years, if you want to sell. If you don't want to sell, you can keep it and be part of the uh, the big exit. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Almost all of them. You, you got that? Yeah. 